We all know that many things can affect the concentration of pupils in class, including noise levels, where they are sat, lighting, and rightly so, these factors deserve careful attention. There is now a large body of evidence that shows CO2 levels have a significant effect on cognitive performance. And so CO2 levels should also be an important consideration at school. You will almost certainly have experienced feeling drowsy in a room that feels stuffy, and a large part of this is our body's natural response to a buildup of CO2 in the air. Therefore, it should be unsurprising that high CO2 levels can affect the concentration and so the academic performance of your pupils. In addition to high CO2 levels being associated with drowsiness and headache, a number of studies in schools have shown that lower CO2 levels led to a statistically significant increase in pupils' performance in cognitive tests. The CO2 monitors in classrooms will provide you with an additional tool to improve long-term learning outcomes by giving you the information to know where more ventilation is needed, for example, opening windows. In summary, high CO2 levels are linked with headaches, drowsiness, reduced cognitive ability, increased absences and low ventilation rates leading to increased risk of COVID-19 airborne transmission. The CO2 monitor gives you the information to know when to provide more ventilation by opening windows if above 800 ppm. If regularly above 1500 ppm, it will inform you if more long-term ventilation solutions are required. With the added information from the CO2 monitor, we can improve long-term learning and health outcomes in your schools.